I was a lawyer and I took a trip to Bolivia to learn Spanish. I went to a Catholic orphanage. So yeah, I ended up staying 12 years. <laughs> I became heavily involved in education down there and really seeing the power of education to change lives. Growing up, my mom and grandma, like they never could do what they wanted to do. I did not have the opportunity to pursue college. As soon as I could work, I had to be able to work. This is a college prep school, and that if we accept you in this school, and we accept almost everyone who applies, we believe that you can go to college, and we never get off that. I really thank my mom for putting me in this school because it was like I was not myself anymore, and they kind of like made me find who I was again because I lost it. One day a week, we have the opportunity to go to work, and we get to interact with other people, which is experienced once we get into the real world. And then with the college work study, preparing them for real life work, it has developed her character, made her a stronger woman. I grew up in Southwest Detroit. You may hear they want every student to go to college, but behind that, I think the school's goal is to have every student have a successful life. Jewish students, I've had Muslim students, I've had many students that are uh, unaffiliated in their own hearts. And my whole game with the kids in physics is, why is this happening? Why does the wheel go around? Why does the top of the wheel go twice as fast as the center of the wheel? They're truths about our world, and we can start to understand why they are the way they are. In a very similar way, faith tells us how we can determine what's going to be best for my family, what's going to be best for my society. I certainly wouldn't want to be dictated to by the government what we can talk about in the school or what we can't talk about in the schools. We've had three children who died while they were our students. We had to deal with that. And I don't know how we could have dealt with that in the classroom without being able to talk about God without being able to talk about faith, without being able to pray together. School provides me with a better chance at life. I know I can succeed. I really want to go to Columbia University in New York City. And it make me feel confident that, you know, I can do this because I have like a lot of support and inspire me to do better. I know I'm going to be something. I think teaching for anyone is a very important vocation, but to be able to help kids learn to know what talents that they have been uniquely invested with, and then how can they use those talents to go out and make the world a better place. That to me, there's like something sacred in that, and that I get to participate in that, that's very rewarding. And if you, you know, just think of the church as the hierarchy, you're selling yourself short on what is the church. The church is the people. You're asking yourself, what am I doing to make things better? 